Okay, this one's called Lost Memories. And it's got a bunch of anime on the front, so you know this is gonna be great. Startle. Ooh. I'm thinking of a world. One I knew long ago. Hi there. And a move. Exactly. My eyes are squeezed shut, but I can see it through the feeling. I take in this feeling, this memory, an open expanse stretching for miles out to the horizon and further. I breathe deep and can taste the dryness, the stillness. This very feeling, it's a freedom. Just kidding, we're in a dungeon. That world is gone. That memory was from long ago, a time lost to me, a distant hope fallen into the dark, a feeling gone. I blinked, the smile vanishing from my face. Here I am again, now. I sigh as my eyes are greeted by this dark, the small light so dim it's draining. This feels like a visual novel. The world is so bright, the world so bright was lost forever. All right, let's walk through this long hallway. I walk through the dim light, down a long corridor which length eludes me. Eludes you, you mean? I walk for what feels like forever. Wow, that is a long time. Oh, is that a hole in the wall? When I open my eyes, my memories are lost. <laughs> Got the popcorn ready? When I'm walking around, I don't reminisce in them. I walk, thoughts on nothing in particular, feeling of nothing really. I just walk, feeling drained, lifeless, hopeless in this darkness. Oh, he, she's go he or she is going for the hole. Alrighty then. Time to enter a whole new area. Soft light flickers in the distance, far off a smell, I didn't see the rest of that. The silence is mixed with soft, hushed voices as I drew closer. Their eyes are dim, staring at the small lanterns in between them. Whole lot of mystery! <laughs> small groups huddling together. Oh, we found civilization. I pass them by, avoiding the few turning heads as I slide through. Wow, this is a shanty town. They looked as dead as we all felt. Their clothes hung on thin, pale frames. Patchworks of coarse, faded clothes, torn and dirty. Alright, what's in here? Just a whole big old campsite filled with tents. Wow, it's a lot bigger on the inside. Where you been, Mira? I just needed some time out. A young boy sitting on the rattan mat watched me with wide eyes. You out in the tunnels again? I didn't reply to him. I pulled my poncho off and threw it onto a crate. Why do you keep going out there? Those tunnels don't go anywhere. Even if they did, you'd have to walk for days. A girl not much older than me frowned, crossing her arms. They say the light runs out way before that, though. Oh yeah? Who says that? Who says that? No one's been out that far before. Wait, you haven't heard? The boy tilted his head. Heard what? About that nutcase who ventured out to find where the tunnels lead. He wasn't seen for months but turned up in one of the west districts. Word got around he was from the lower levels in the east wing. What? That means he only covered like three miles? Yeah, but that's not the weird part. Oh yeah? She tilted her head slightly. I could tell she was curious. I'm too- I was too now, but I stayed facing the back wall, bent over, unlacing my boots. How many people are in here? Five? Yeah. The guy was found completely blind. Oh boy. I tensed and slowly turned my head. What? A silence hung in the air. I glanced around. They all stared at the boy. His face sat in a, sat a stony, still seriousness that stopped us from further questioning. I guess Whitehair didn't want to share the rest of the story. 
The girl snorted and turned from him, flickering her purple ponytail over her shoulder. Whatever, I don't believe this. Where did you even hear that nonsense? Stop falling for those dumb horror stories. Things like that are told around here all the time. Huh. <laughs> yeah, but this one's real. Really now. Yeah, the girl cackled and rolled her eyes. Whatever, Brynn. He stood, his arms crossed. I watched with a heavy frown. His face was telling me there was something else. Damn you, purple-haired question mark girl. <laughs> well, Kina, you want to know something? Oh, that's her name. His voice was heavy and slow. It was a warning. Kina straightened. Her face dropped. She was listening, and so were the rest of us. I saw him. And I can tell you, whatever was out there, be careful out there, Mira. I wouldn't wander too far. He nodded once and headed for the cream cloth wall. I watched the back of his white head duck and disappear into the shadow beyond the wall. I'm calling her purple hair question mark for the rest of the gameplay. <laughs> Alright, purple hair question mark. The silence dragged for a moment before the youngest boy spun his head from where Bren had disappeared to where I sat. Wanna go find him? The blind guy, I mean. Don't be ridiculous, Leave. It's not true. I hold off from that conclusion, Kina. The man's voice was low, his arms crossed, still leaning against the crate. You know, Bren. Whatever, Malt. I'm not believing rubbish. I don't doubt he saw something. I just don't believe that story happened. Someone else made that up to scare us all again. They drown out the last glimmer of hope we have left. I could barely hear the last part her voice was so small, but we all knew what she was saying. Oh, she just walked out the side. I watched, uh, I watched the cloth fall back into place and the silence settled again. Leaves sat on the mat, deflated. Maul's face was shadowed. I sighed under my breath. And there it was. We so easily gave up on everything. It's hard when there isn't much to look forward to. Without light to look for, everything stays dark. Wow, those are huge boots over there. You see them? Alright, time to time to retire for the night. Oh wow, these are some nice little mats. Blinking slowly, the tired overcame me. I would sleep soon, but for now, my thoughts would linger on, haunting me almost. They would play through the day's mundane events with nothing much to look for. The events would blur together and pass on. Soon I would forget it all. All but the faces and people I knew most, that being the four in that room. Oh, and one other, but her name was always lost to me. I could only see it when I saw her face, which was good when I did see her, but that wasn't often. I guess we can call her question mark number two. Aside from, apart from that, this loss of memory annoyed me. But it didn't matter. They would disappear soon. I closed my eyes. Maybe I would dream of lost memories tonight? Lost memories. Oh wait, that's the name of the game, right? Yes. Dot dot dot, yes. The world in my mind blurred as I felt the memories slip slowly into the darkness one by one, giving me a glimpse of the color in them before fading away forever until nothing. It was all black. Dot dot dot, yes. Alright, wakey wakey. Yep. Up we go. Here I am again. I don't know where I am, but it feels familiar. The smell, the dim light, the warmth. There are three other bodies wrapped in differing colors. Their names surge back to me and I feel as if I've known them a lifetime, although I don't recall any time I've spent with them. They're just there in my head and I feel comfortable here. I nod to myself because this is my life and I know. I remember now. I don't remember anything. No, I remember not. I don't remember anything now. Is that contradicting? I don't know, maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe I should word it better then. Yeah, please do. I don't recall my past or any events that have occurred up to this point in which I am sitting in this very moment. Oh, is it because the player just started? Yeah, you know, you know, um, plot amnesia, that's what they call that. What do I remember is how everything feels. I remember that this feels like home. 
that these people are what some call my family, although that is an obscure term which I think has lost meaning here. I remember we have a routine and soon I will get up and live it out, but that's all that comes to me. Morning, morning, Mira. Brent's still not in? Ah, uh, he'll miss breakfast. Where could he be down here anyways? Not like there's many other places to be. Oh well, we'll just leave without him today. Where are we going? Kick, kick. Yeah, kick him awake. Morning's here, shorty. Wake up, Malk. Wake, wake up, Malk, cuz we gotta go. Are we going to Narnia? Oh, that's a great place to be. We can we can fight like uh, goblins and stuff. You know what's my favorite scene in Narnia? The one where the one where uh, Susie that was her name, right? Yeah, Susie shoots an arrow. The only time she shoots an arrow, I think. That's my favorite part. All right. Okay, I'm moving now. Save. Yes, please save. Grab your stuff and let's go already. Get my boots. Grab your stuff and let's go. I will be late. Put on your boots. Yes, good. Let's go. You pick up your poncho. Don't want to leave that behind. Let's do it. How did they... Whatever. Oh, wow. This is a little laggy. I get the feeling this is a huge map. Oh, okay. Cool, cool detail. I'm not the leader here. I'm just following some other guy. Whoa, look, we're just all forming a big conga line. Where are we going? Ooh, they're gonna explore the cave looking for the mystical closet that will take us to Narnia. I need to collect mushrooms with everyone. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're collecting mushrooms. Alright, let's... I guess they took a page out of Mario and started realizing how useful mushrooms are. Only nine more. Can we run any faster? Seven more, six more. I can't reach the ones that are too tall up. All right, just gonna collect as much mushrooms as possible. All right, two more. Okay, save yes. I guess we should talk to people or something, right? Socializing. Oh, they don't talk. Never mind. Nobody wants to talk. I guess they're all very uh. Very uh, unsociable or something. Well, that's ten. Oi, Mira, come and get back in line. Oh, gotta get back into the conga line. How do you do that? I can't even tell where my spot is. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Yes, back on the conga line. Choo choo. B line. B line. <laughs> yes. Right. Now all we need is the B. Alright, and one single file line into the main tent for I don't know what. Uh, what are we doing here? You hand over your mushrooms. Oh, okay, I just donate them away. Great. Oh, yay, mushroom soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is a very good diet. Where am I? Oh, there I am. I got. I guess I'm supposed to go sit next to my friends. Enter? Yes. Pick up a bowl. Alright, where are my friends? Come on. There's only one person here with a big ponytail. It should be, shouldn't be too hard to miss. Oh, she's right there. If you got your food, then take a seat next to leave. Oh, she wants me to sit next to the blonde kid. Oh, there we go. Did you grab your bowl? Then grab a seat. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty then. Yeah, no, nobody has anything to say here. It's a post-apocalyptic world. Yep. Yep. The silence joined us as we ate. It's the, it's the white hair dude. Anosha? Your friend's sister. Oh, never mind. It's his sister. She giggled and tilted her head to the side slightly with a quick nod. Yes, Mira. You say that every time, remember? I frown. No, I don't remember. I guess I don't like her or something. Speaking of which, where is he? 
Akina sighed heavily and rolled her eyes with a shrug. Leaf bounced and bent forward over the table, making himself taller. I guess he likes her or something. He went off to find the blind guy. Oh, that's good to know. I blink. Something about that felt familiar, but I don't remember. I seem to have a really bad case of short-term amnesia. Blind? Keep it in the pants, boy. Leaf nodded. Yep. You heard the story, haven't you? Bran was telling us yesterday, then he walked out, and none of us have seen him ever since. Cool. Mm, really? Is that what happened? S story? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, yep. I, I hope they don't ask me to go find him or something. Leave, leave, leave nodded with a grin. Why, you want to go find him? I, I don't know all the details, but I'm sure he's got more t to it. I bet he went to find the blind guy, and that's why he hasn't come back yet. Pff, idiot, he missed breakfast. Oh, I'll see you like here. Oh, wow, she finished her food rather quickly. Oh, bye, Akina. And Elsha waved and turned back to leave the blonde kid. Well, leave. I think that's a great idea. How about we head off now? Oh, you come too, Mira, please. Oh, I gotta babysit them? Cool. Her round eyes locked into mine, and I felt my head nodding without knowing why. It must be one of those lolly stares. You know, the ones you can't resist. I felt compelled to comply with her wish. Yep. Great. I just got roped into something. Oh wow, this is laggy as flapjacks. Excuse me, have you seen Bren? He's kind of tall and has white hair. Uh, no, I haven't. Very helpful answer. Here's a knock on the door. <coughs> FBI, open up! Well, you'll be eating ravioli for the rest of your life in jail. Wow, this is really laggy. Excuse me, have you seen Bren? He's kind of tall and has white hair. No. <laughs> what do you got? Excuse me, have you seen Bren? He's kind of tall and has white hair. No, sorry. No, no luck here. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh wow, this is a big campsite with lots of people. Black eyed stranger. Excuse me, have you seen Bren? He's kind of tall and has white hair. No, sorry. Oh no, it's the twin sister of the other NPC we just saw. Excuse me, have you seen the other No, I ha oh, it's the twin brother of the other NPC. Oh boy, looks like I have a lot of twins in here. Excuse me, have you seen Bren? He's kind of tall and has white hair. No. Okay, so there's like only three types of NPCs. Excuse me, have you seen Brains kind of talk? No, sorry. And they all say the same thing too. Oh no, we're nearing the edge of the map. Maybe this red hair will have something interesting to tell us. No, he doesn't. Never mind. How about this guy? Uh, oh, he's got something? Nope. Oh my. I can't seem to go right. Oh, yeah, now I can. Okay. Excuse me? No. Green hair, but purple hair in the sprite. Sure. Okay, now. How about over here? Excuse me? Uh, 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 he doesn't even... He's too shocked to speak. Excuse me, have you seen Britain? No. This is a huge campsite. No wonder everyone has to walk around in a single file line. Oh, shoot. Do I have to go here? I'm actually going to try and go here. Oh, cool, there's nothing over here. Never mind. Anything useful to tell me? Of course not. Uh, looks like I have to circumnavigate this map to find a way out. Uh, wow, this is this must be a really huge map with like a hundred events or something. Uh, uh, 90 of those are just strangers saying the same things over and over. I mean, I like the art though, but this is kind of laggy. Let me guess, nothing? Nah. I wonder where, I wonder where is the cave with the mushroom? I really don't think he'll be over there. Let's head back this way. And how do you know, Anno? Come now. Oh, she just knows. Just take her word for it, even though she's looking for him. 
All right. I think we almost made a full circle soon. No, sorry. Nope. Oh, she knows. Oh, you think she knows something? She's just making us go on an errand for some reason. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Maybe we should look for a uh, question mark ponytail girl. Uh, she she also thinks he's uh, he's not over here. Then where could he be? Is he hiding in camp somewhere? Cause th that's like the only other explanation. Jeez. Wanna bet this is the guy that knows something? Just kidding, he knows nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna try the southern exit. See if something happens. Uh, let's see here. Alright, tell me your intuition works. Oh, she's like, no, not here either. So we're gonna have to search around the campsite. Oh boy, this is a huge campsite. It's probably a 500 by 500 map. Uh, maybe not though. I've, I've, I don't think it's that big, but it's pretty big. Excuse me, have you seen? Nope. Can I go in the tent? Uh, no, I cannot. Uh, oh wow, it's kind of hard to navigate through the middle of this campsite. Have you seen XD? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically how all these conversations have been going. Watch, watch this next guy. Excuse me, have you seen? No, sorry. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a guy sitting down. He must be special. I'm sure. Oh, he's so special that I can't even reach him to talk to him. How about you? Excuse me, have you seen? No. Alright, so there's something hiding in this campsite that we had to find. Apparently that's the thing, I guess. Excuse me, have you? Uh, wh where was the cafeteria again? Let's see... Oh, jeez. Excuse me, have you? No, I haven't. We've been searching for a while now and still haven't found Brent. Well, it's because you don't, you won't let us leave the campsite. Maybe he went back home. All right, let's go. All right, yes, thank you. Teleport me back home. That's very nice of you. So I heard you were out in the tunnels again, Mira. You know no one's meant to be out that way, don't you? Of course I know. As I looked into her eyes, I was intrigued for a moment. Those ice blue white crystals peered into mine and I could see her face and name clearly. There was something about them. Hey, we can't find our friend. Let's just ask around camp. I felt as if they were reaching down into the depths of my being and pulling out the lost corners of my past and not look for him or her. Yep, that's odd. I blinked and turned my eyes down to my feet. As I did, the feeling left, replaced with the dark- Oh no, I read too slow. I stared hard at my boots for a second, trying to contemplate her question with no success. I shook my head slowly and looked back, back up, glaring into the darkness ahead as we continued our slow gait. There you go, gotta read faster to keep up. She giggled and picked up her pace, taking two strides ahead of me and moonwalking and facing both of us. That giggle echoed and resonated in my soul. It was an unusual sound. It made me feel slightly uncomfortable. Must be one of those creepy girl anime girl laughs. Leave seemed untouched by the noise, however, and was grinning at the strange girl. I looked from Leave to Anosha and then back her name was gone. I looked back up at her and her eyes caught mine. It was back. Anosha. She tilted her head. Oh wow, it's a little too early. It's a little you're a little young to be having like memory problems like that. I frowned and looked back at my boots. I blinked and looked around. We were surrounded by dark shapes, cloths. Uh huh. It was tense. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I, I didn't. I didn't know that. Lots of them, rising and falling. Dim light tracing edges and shadows blurring them together. Where are we? Oh no! I already. I'm really. I have some. I have some big memory problems, like really bad memory problems. Uh, Leave looked at me and frowned. We're home, Mira. Remember? I looked at the boy, gazing into his dim yellow eyes. Searching for a reason to his response and the question which I didn't understand. They look 16. Yeah, I know. A little young to be having that bad of a memory problem. His eyes told me he knew. He knew why 
Where, where, here? Home? I looked down my boots again. No, I didn't remember. I glanced up and the ice eyes locked onto mine again. Anosha hadn't moved. Her face was blank. We stared at each other. I felt lost in the swimming light that danced in her crystal eyes. Why were they captivating me so much? Maybe she found out her actual orientation. I couldn't take my eyes from hers. They were pale as ice, but still so warm, they almost glowed. That was it. There was life in her eyes. Oh wow, look at me backing into a corner. I'm scared. I looked up as something hit deep in my mind, knocking me a step back. I spun my head around. A high-pitched buzzing droned in my head, screaming from every direction. Looks like we've left the real world and into our own little world. I felt my heart double pace as my fingers numbed. Mira, don't let go of life, okay? I stumbled around, everything was darkened and the voice echoed on unseen walls. The world was a haze of blurring dim light and black shadows. <laughs> yeah, what is going on? Black engulfed me and I screamed, arms and legs kicking. Use a nightlight. Oh, too bad she doesn't have one. I stopped. Something beckoned from the depths, depths of the darkness. Mira. A word. A voice. Mira. It grew louder, clearer. Mira. That was my name. Yes. Mira. My heart exploded and shook violently. I was still falling. Black covered me like a cold blanket. You know, I think those mushrooms might have been those kind of mushrooms. Just a guess. Mira. That was my name, yes. I was shaking my head. A voice within me was screaming. In, out, in, out. My breathe came so hard it felt cold in my chest. My head swimming. I couldn't stop shaking. This was fear. I was slipping, letting go. The dark was overtaking me. I was screaming. No. Mira! No! I wasn't going to let go. No, I'm not letting go. I'm not watching Frozen again. I won't let go! Mira! Oh, looks like I passed out at some point. I sat still, cold under me, cutting through my gray leggings. I stared forward. I was back home. Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold me back. That was what, that's what Leave had called it anyways. He was leaning over me with wide yellow eyes. They looked almost curious. There was a girl kneeling beside me as well. Our eyes crossed again and it was Enosha. No, really? I blinked and frowned hard. Mira, I whispered under my breath and then pushed myself to my feet. Yeah, I'm sure I'll make a great babysitter. I seem to have my own problems. Huh, what was that, Mira? Yeah, what was that? The girl's voice echoed again, so full of life even if it was small. You could just tell. Compared to the rest of us, she was the only one holding to real life. I didn't respond. I simply started walking. I just ditched the kids back here. I don't know what had happened, but I didn't see it. I had no interest in it, I let it slip, so it did into the darkness like everything else. Mira, wait! I'm not waiting for no kiddos. Mira! Mira, please stop! I halted. There you go. My foot hovering in the air like it was caught on some invisible threads. I stumbled and my foot hit the concrete, ouch. A hand grabbed my wrist and I spun around. Her eyes were stone cold, they helped me harder than anything I can imagine. A moment passed and she let go of my wrist, taking a step back. Leave watched with widened eyes, oh wow this text is going fast. The girl straightened and tilted her head to the side, her eyes softened and she closed them, her mouth twisting to a slightly warm smile, I blinked. We're looking for Bren, remember? Come this way, come on this way. Which way? Why are you leading me all over the place? She beckoned and I complied like a mind slave. I don't know why. I don't know why. Leave followed, but... Two, but... Leave followed two, but... What? Excuse me? Oh my gosh, does random NPC have a information for me now? Did you say Bren? That tall boy with the white hair, correct? Oh my gosh, why didn't I ask this guy? Yes, that is him. Have you seen him? The stranger nods. Okay, he's got something for us. I saw him head out into the dark, in the direction of the East Wing. Did you hear that? They said the East Wing. So Brent did go to find the blind guy. Let's head there now. Leave. I think it's better. 
I think it's getting a bit late. We should head there tomorrow. Yeah, I clearly need to go to bed right now because, you know, I'm having memory problems among other things. Ah, but Anno, come now, leave. Fine. Well then, see you tomorrow. The girl said with a smile as she waved. Bye bye I watched the girl walk off into the distance. I guess we'll see her tomorrow then. See who? Anosha! I stare at the boy. I don't recognize the name. Yeah, I have a serious memory problem. That walk, just just skittling along, right? Leave looked a bit confused but doesn't say anymore. I, I think the kid by now should realize that I am not a qualified babysitter. Kina Mott, we know where Bren went. He's gone to the east wing to find the blind guy. We're gonna head there tomorrow to find him. Leave, you know that story and it's not true. Wait, the east wing? You would do no such thing. What, but Kina, no leave. But Bren is, Bren can look after himself. It was that idiot's idea to go there in the first place. It's getting late and we should all head to bed. Aw, oh, kid doesn't want to go to bed. I just stood there and watched. <laughs> Kina might not want to leave to go and look for Bren, but that didn't mean I couldn't. But she was right. It was getting late. I should head to bed and look for Bren tomorrow. I don't know. She, she looks like the kind of person who could get lost by walking around by herself. Why is Kina so mean? You should head to bed. Oh wow, very useful advice there. Let's just do that. Well, it's like... Ponytail already doze off, and I'm 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 following suit. My head creased the pillow. I breathe out slowly and let my heavy eyelids relax. The black surrounding, I felt them slipping away again. My memories. I breathed slow, too tired to try holding on, so I didn't. I watched them flick past like still images filled with colors and shapes. One by one, I let them fade into the void. I breathed slow, fading with each one as they disappeared. Mira! Oh, hello? I bolted upright with eyes wide. I felt like I'd just been shaking from a dream or a nightmare. That voice had screamed from the depth of my soul and I remembered the scenes from earlier. I was breathing hard as my heart throbbed, legs shaking again, flicking my eyes around the room and still, I was still in this room with the others, already still and breathing evenly. How many times did the word still come up? Three? Asleep. So what was wrong? I blinked and looked down my trembling hands. I shook my head. I was awake and no longer felt the tug of sleep call my soul. Oh, sudden caffeine. I didn't know what to do. I sat still, staring into the dark, eyes tracing the lines of my curled fingers which rested in my lap. I couldn't place the feeling which was welling up inside my heart. I was lost but felt a strange conviction to do something. I couldn't sleep. Not now. Not until it was down. I had to work out what that was, however. Today was... Hmm... I don't know. What happened today? I breathed slowly and curled my fingers in, letting the feeling of my calloused palms course over them. No, actually, I do remember still. Today was the same as it always was, but there was something different about how it felt. I frowned. Bren... Bren... I had to find him. But why? Because the script said so. I didn't know. Was it strange that I needed to? Yes. I'm not sure, but there was a feeling of, of urgency? Oh, it looks like he's dying. Yes, I felt like this was something that needed to happen. Okay, why? I blinked. The silence called from the dark. Nothing. There was no answer to that. I had nothing. Okay. Alright, time to walk off by myself. I knew. All I knew was I was going. It had to be now. It couldn't be tomorrow. Tomorrow would restart. If it was tomorrow, I would forget. I would have given in to the lost memories again. My feet led. I followed. Alright, east wing, so I assume it's... Huh? I wasn't sure what that was, but I felt that I needed to follow it. Oh, we followed the blue light. Follow blue light. I gotta get up there. Alright, where's the next one? It's up there. Alright. I wonder what kind of interesting things these NPCs have to say. Wow, that's very interesting. They didn't say anything and continued to stare at the lantern. Alright, what's over here? Alright. Oh, 
I guess we're going to the north wing. Never mind. I placed one foot in front of the other and stepped forwards, one step at a time, into the black. I followed the feeling, journeying through the dark with nothing but my feet to lead as they had been for so long. Oh, back to the long, narrow hallway. I have no perception of how long I have been walking. My thoughts have blurred into a confusing mess of nonsense by this point as I listened to nothing but rubber soles on cold concrete, so I didn't entertain them any longer. They were just there, like annoying static in the background. I breathed deep for one last time as my eyes caught hold of a small flicker. It was far off, but, the soft, against, but soft against the dark. It was there, yet the only thing it did was snap me be back to reality, like waking from a shrouded dream. I nodded slowly to myself as I pressed on towards it. Slowly growing and spreading against the black, I stepped forwards, almost dragging my heavy legs as I ebbed forwards, now having something to guide me other than the instinct led, um, led by my feet. Oh my gosh, the hallway ended. As I trudged closer, my eyes were greeted with a scene I felt something. Huddled of life, huddles of life drained people around small lanterns. They sat in circle clusters, a few turned heads with unregistering eyes in my direction as I passed. I didn't acknowledge any at, of the moment, just kept moving forwards, boots scuffed steps. Hey look, this campsite is almost identical to the one I came from. I thought I knew this place, but I didn't. It was similar, but didn't have the same home feeling, like Leaf said. That's right. I tilted my head back slightly, taking the faded colors and shapes rising disappearing. So this is the East Wing. Alright. Okay. I had no idea where... I had no idea to where I was headed, but as before, I let my feet lead. Oh, follow the blue light again. Uh, can I move through here? Yes, I can. Uh, yes, good. Oh, cool, I triggered something. My thoughts were ebbing from the back of my mind, but they were seemingly playing on repeat, going over the same small piece of information that, oh my gosh, my reading speed is so slow. B Bren, tonight, not tomorrow. Mira, yes, that's me. I frown, huh? Oh. Mira, is it the guy talking to me right now? I look up slowly. The voice had changed. It was lower than I... Mira. I jerked to a halt as hard fingers pressed into my shoulder. I spun my head up and greeted by a face leaning to mine. I guess he's not in danger or anything after all. Mira, what are you doing here? I don't actually know. <laughs> his white hair framed his cold blue eyes, which seemed to penetrate my thoughts more than I wished they would. I wished to pull away from them, but I couldn't. Mira, hello. Uh, uh, wow, I get I get creeped out by literally everything in this game. Bren, yes, you gonna answer me or be all vague like usual? You shouldn't be over this far from home. XD. <laughs> Did you know water is wet? Oh my gosh, really? Walks away. <laughs> Shocked her to like. Wow, I blinked and stared at him. You stupid girl, why do you always wander off like this? Don't you know this isn't what you're supposed to do? You stay with the others and don't stray from them. I didn't respond. His words were mixing in my mind, but they didn't do much else than that. He grunted and turned his head back, rubbing his face, then turned back to me with a heavy scowl. His hand clasped mine and tugged. Come, get out of the street already. You're making us look like idiots. I comply. His hand was cold and his grasp was hard. I'm I, I'm I'm sorry, but I don't think anybody really cares. You know, everyone looks kind of dead inside. Just just you know. All right, let's go inside his tent. Stay here, Mira. Sure, whatever you say, boss. I was greeted by only silence as my mind stopped. My arms felt heavy beside me. I look around slowly, taking in nothing. Once. Twice. I blinked. Oh! And this was the moment I woke up and realized I was tired. So tired. That feeling that was driving me faded away and the wave washed over me. Something that sucked the life out of my very being. So, I found him. And? 
I stood there, stone still, unable to move or think any longer. And 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 so it began once again. My eyes flickered, the dark slipping in and the light ebbing away. I exhaled. Black. Wow, she it looks like she's prone to like sudden narcolepsy or something. Oh, you have reached the end of our little demo. Wow, that was a we hope you enjoyed it. I'm not even sure what happened. Yay, best of the based on some short story made by Blueberry Bunny, okay. That was it! If I could summarize this game in one word, it's uh stare, I guess. That's basically what I've been doing the entire game. Staring at people doing nothing, blinking out. Staring, staring at people, saying nothing, doing nothing, generally being a zombie. And staring at the darkness when I kind of zone out all the time. Yeah, that's basically what this game's about. Yeah, losing your memory is not good. Especially when you lose memories of stuff that happened like five seconds ago. That, that can be really bad, you know. Yeah, so, alright, let's see what the next game is.